Hi, I'm Sam from Groff's Home Comfort Team. Now we're going to go into some of the advanced programming of the thermostat. So let's start with the away feature. What this feature does is let you adjust your thermostat for when you're not home. So if you're leaving the house, you hit your away button here. Hit the, now you can adjust where you want the temperature when you're leaving the house. Just touch here, and then now you can adjust it up or down to whatever you want the heating to be when you're leaving. That way you can save some energy and for when you come home, then it's at a standard temperature. Now for cooling, same thing, up or down. And now the cooling would drop back, so it's energy efficient. So when you come home, you hit the cancel button and it returns to your normal settings. Another advanced feature is the scheduling. Go into the menu. Now we're going to go into edit schedules. Okay, as you see, you have three choices here and these schedules you do set up yourself. They are preset, but you do set them up. So what we'll do, we'll go into the winner. And now you can, you can rename the schedule, whatever name you want to give it, which I did is I named this one winner. Just going to rename, type whatever you want in there, hit done. Now we're going to do select the days that we want to, to set up. So we'll get select days. We could do individual days, week and weekends, or all seven days the same temperature. So normally we do week and weekends. Now you hit back. Now you're going to select if you want it heating or cooling. Since I named this winter, now we're going to go into the heating mode. So we hit heat only, because that's what we're going to set it up at. Then we hit back. Now we want to pick our times. We're going to the week, so this would be every day of the week. And your wake time, just touch it. And now you pick the time and the temperature that you want it to be when you wake up. And your fan, you can have on or auto, which basically just leave it on auto because then it runs with the system. Now we go back, now we do our leave time. This is when we're leaving the house. You can adjust it. Once you touch it, this screen will come up. Hit done. And now temperatures just go up and down to wherever you want it. Now this temperature will be when you come home. You adjust the time, temperature, same way. Now you're doing your night setback. And this is overnight, so when you're going to bed, you want it to be cooler or warmer. You just adjust the temperature accordingly. Now you set everything up. Now you, you set up your winter schedule. Here's another popular schedule that we run, which we call it the summer schedule, which if you got a brand new thermostat, it will say schedule one, two, or three. We just renamed it just for ease. So we're going to the summer schedule, and now we'd select our, how we want it to operate, weekend, weekdays, all seven days, or individual days. So what we'll do is we'll do, just like we did the heating, we'll do the week and weekends. Now we're in the cooling mode, because that's what we wanted to do, cool, so we hit cool only. Now we're going to pick the times and days that we want the temperature to swing. So now we go into the week. Now this is Monday through Friday. We'll pick our wake time and adjust our temperature. Fan will stay at auto once again. Now we'll pick our leave time, temperature, wherever we would like it, and whatever time we're leaving the house. Now we'll do our home when we're coming, returning back home from work or out shopping or whatever. Now we go into a night schedule where we're getting ready for bed and we might want to drop it back because we like it cooler or warmer at night. And that's the basics of setting up your summer schedule. And now once you go back, if you go the whole way back, now you're back at your home screen. Now we're going to go over another advanced feature, which would be setting up a program for an individual workday schedule. We're going to schedule three. Now we're going to go, we can rename this one to custom. And now we'll pick our individual days. We're going to individual days. And now we're going to do, with this feature, we can also do 
where it would do heating and cooling at the same time. So if you don't work a typical work week, Monday through Friday the same hours, come home the same time every day, we'll set up Monday and Tuesday as a variable schedule. We'll do it's going to Monday. Now let's just say, now your leaving time is 5 a.m. Now we're going to five, hit done. Now you can set your temperatures to where you like them. Um, so let's raise the, the cooling up to 74. And we'll leave, we'll raise the heating, lower the heating down to 60. Okay, let's say you come home at seven o'clock at night and you work long hours. So now we'll adjust this to 7 p.m. Hit done. Now what you're gonna do, you wanna get your cool temperature back down. So you lower your temperature. And as you see, the heating is, is staying within two degrees from your cool temperature because it doesn't wanna get up within one or even on top of the same degrees because at that point, the system will just be fighting back and forth to go to heating and cooling all the time. So as you can see, they'll never be less than two degrees apart. And we go back to the custom schedule. You can customize any day of the week, however you like. Now that I showed you how to set your schedule, now we'll go into how to turn them on and off with your system. Touch the touch screen brings it on. Now we'll go into the off. Now you have all your settings right here. So you have your winter schedule, summer schedule, and custom schedule. So now we're running the winter schedule. Now you got winter schedule at the bottom. And to change at any time, you can click and just touch any other programming that you want. Let's just say you get off of work early today and you wanna adjust your temperature up because it's cooler in the house and you want it warmer. Now we're gonna hit heat, heat two. We'll adjust the temperature, 75. Now you get the option of doing it one hour, two hour, or permanent. One thing we don't recommend is doing it, setting it for permanent. So we'll just do two hours, hit set, and now it hit, it'll stay there until it gives you a time for two hours. And then it'll go back to your preset schedule. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. And remember, call golf to all your home comfort needs.